Hey guys, welcome back to the Virtuous Life. I changed my name to get with it. Uh, I'm Virtue and <laughs> I'm Chaim. Mm -hmm. So today we're gonna talk to you all things uni and engineering because we both study civil engineering. I do, look, I study civil with architecture. Second year is a lot harder than first year. I know some of you aren't even in first year, but I'm just gonna put it out there. None of us, no one told me that. The transition from first to second is a bigger gap than from A level to first. No, that's a lie. Do you think? I personally feel like, um, <laughs> 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 you know, no, it, it, it's obviously personal opinion. I think A levels is hard because it's so structured. Oh no, so yeah, A levels is hard. I get that completely. I don't. I and actually believe that. But I think first year it was easier than A levels, right? Yeah yeah, 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 exactly. And then content-wise, they're trying to ease you in. They're gonna give you stuff that you've done before, or like you know. In first year. In first year, yeah. it's not. It's not like you're drowning straight away. Yeah. It's like you're low key, like the water's up to here. <laughs> a bit of mat, a bit of water's going <laughs> in your mouth, but you know you can still breathe. And then, so then by the time you end of first year, you should be able to swim. And it's not even about content. I don't think the hard, the hard. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think the hard part is the content. The hard part is organizing your life. Yeah, you exactly. Listen, be. first year, the part, first year, it's not even hard. The content, why? Like your degree is calm. That's at <laughs> least the one. It's just it's surviving life. Surviving There's so life. much going on. Surviving life. You can do this, that, that, that. Organizing and friends. Organizing. So, exactly. Sport, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. And then cooking. Cooking. You need to. Let me again that. So first year is actually not hard degree wise, but like life itself, it's that's so. Why then it's so when hard. you when you're trying to organize your life. You can forget about your degree, you do forget and that's about your degree. why people fail or they don't get in. It's because everything was too much, mm -hmm, too mm -hmm. fast. You can have a good social life, or you can have a good degree. You need to find the balance. You can have both. When, then, when you get into second year, they assume you know how to organize your life. Yeah. So second year is no cap. They throw you into the deep end. Like the beginning of the first week is not transition. You're straight with content. Yeah. And there'll be coursework deadlines. Everything's just gonna be thrown at you. So you need to be mentally prepared. Just warning you. With our degree, we had like modules that run through the whole year. So then we just we were just examined at the end. Whereas now in second year, we have four modules examined in January. Yeah. Then a whole new four modules <laughs> and you do them in, in May. So you're now... And the <laughs> content you learn in one lecture, they cover so much in that one lecture. Or in the, even in a week, you can cover, co like, cover like two to three topics. So oh, yeah. content-wise, it's so much compared to first year. Because they're running. Yeah, because... They're <laughs> running through everything. <laughs> first year, I think first year, things were spread across a whole year. You had yeah. enough. It was distributed across 30 weeks. Second year, 15 weeks, you can learn like, oh my gosh, the content is just mad. But you can do it because we're doing it. Look, we're surviving. I feel we enjoy second year so much because like sports is fun. You're yeah. doing stuff towards our degree. Like before we did, we did thermo um, dynamics and what's it called fluid mechanics. Yeah. So all of that is not about. We don't do things that move. Yeah, that's we true. We are doing everything static. Why am I learning about heat engines? That's why this. Yeah, exactly. That's why civil engineering this year is better because it's actually tailored to engineering. Yeah. Last year we're doing things like mech. Aero, acoustical would all be doing. It has no correlation to what we're doing. But yeah. this year, structural analysis, I know if I give me 10 years time, I'll probably use this again. So it makes sense. That's why it's probably better. So it's more, so you like the content more. You're, yeah, like. You now have all these other things that you're enjoying. You've practiced organizing your life because you did that first mm -hmm. year. So everything is should we give tips on how to org how we organize our life? How to organize your okay. life? Okay, <laughs> starring Bertrand Trim. Okay, step one. First of all, you want to like make a list of everything you're doing. I mean, like what, like what, where is your time needed at? Okay, list everything. Don't go anywhere without a list. If you go to the shops without a list, you're a crazy person. That's true. Um, <laughs> like, I think, like, don't even prioritise, just list things. So with me, I'm like, okay, I have volleyball, I have body scheme, I have church, church is part of that. I have netball ACS, I have my committee thing, and then I have my course. So that's seven things. I don't prioritise them because in my head, they're all equal. Yeah. Though your course should be up there, but I rate sports as much as I rate my school. So you have that. Then you want to split your week into that. So say I have volleyball training on Wednesdays from 7 to 9 a.m. I know that I can't do it. I'll be tired during Wednesday, so I have to get my work done in the evening, Tuesday evening, so I have enough time to sleep, wake up, do my stuff on Wednesday, and then rest, okay? You just have to prioritise your time, not prioritise your the things that split yeah. your time, if that makes sense, okay? Because treat them equally and just prioritise the time. Use gaps between lectures, 
wise. Oh my that god. That is free time that you can just bang out one word. Yeah, listen, the fire here free time, I think. Oh yeah, let's put on some Netflix, let's watch this and eat for two hours. There's no need. Listen, you could have done a whole tutorial question, actually completed the whole sheet in that two hours. We just, even now, I'm telling you this and I'm still not doing this because we always have two hour free time every Tuesday. I've told you, well, three weeks in, actually four weeks, and I haven't used that free time at all. So if, you use, if you use those two hours, then those two hours you're not going to take out of your evening and you can now have fun and games. Exactly. Going out, all these people that say you have to choose between going out and doing, you can do it all. You can do, but so you can do you everything use, you want. Use your day. So when you have lectures, use those lecture hours like nine to five, if you have nine to fives, mm -hmm. speak. But use your nine to fives to do work and then you can have five to whenever, mm -hmm. just having fun and games. So just organized see the new system i've taken this year is that um during weekdays main except wednesday i do like loads of work like i'm work even like i have nine to five after five i'll do like revision notes blah 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 cramming that because at the end of the week i normally go out once every week so that one week i go out one day i go out that week it'd be like my reward for doing all this hard work like i'm going out this friday and i know i'm going out friday that means i have to plan my week to accommodate me going out friday you just don't if you knew, if you know you have something there, then you plan according to that, okay? Because you know, I had, I know I have games on Wednesday. I can't change my game because that's set and fixed. I change my work schedule to fit my game to make sure I've done everything in order for me to attend the game and hopefully win, okay? And I think planning things. I got this planner thing, and like. You have the days, you write out what you're doing each day, and your to-do list, to-do list is so important, especially what she said about shopping as well. Like, to-do list just shorten everything, because shopping can actually take you three hours if, you, if you're a reckless shopper. If you have a list of 15, uh, 15 shopping lists, tick, 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 you'll be done in 20 minutes. I'm not even joking. So. And don't go off the list. <laughs> yeah, don't Please. go off the list. Listen, I spent 30 times on saying this, I didn't have a list, and I spent two hours. I bought nothing. I have to, I have to do another shopping. Listen, Aldi's the place to go, and I don't even like Aldi that much, but it's yeah. so cheap. Yeah, don't be like me. When it comes to food, I haven't sold my business out. Even like finances, that's not the video because I'm not looking <laughs> on that. I have no idea how to do my finances. Another tip, don't, comparison is the killer of joy. <laughs> don't compare how you work with other people. Virtue likes to spend a lot of time working. She'll be posting it on Snapchat. She'll be doing the Oh most. my God. She'll have <laughs> no <notes laughs> of those. She'll be like, oh my gosh, I have to go home and do all this work. And I'm sitting there thinking, that's just not me. Okay, yeah, okay, that is the type of person I am. I always feel like there's loads to do, and when I'm not doing anything, I'm like, oh, this is what I'm gonna film I'm doing because I'm not doing anything, and I just get, I stop posting with the Snapchat, I do on my private story, I do that, take me off, delete me. Anyways, yeah, I, I'm just that type of person. Don't compare your method of revising to other people because it's just so different. The funny thing about you, you actually never know what's going on with other people's head. You yeah. might think, oh my gosh, he's got all under control. The guy, the guy is crippling in like whatever, like he's breaking down due to pressure, but you'll never know. Everything's just behind the scenes. So like, you can see someone acing, just keep to yourself. But the whole thing about comparing yourself, I wouldn't like, I agree that to that to an extent. I think you should compare yourself because sometimes like, you can have good peer pressure. If I see someone that's always getting 90s, always doing that, I want to strive to be like that. I want 90s in all my coursework. So they're just motivating me to do better. You, you use them as motivation, but don't compare. Because I know the type of worker I am. I can work quite fast. So no, like being friends with Virtue, I know she says, oh yeah, I haven't done maths. I haven't done this. So I can hear what she has to do and be like, okay, I need to do that too. But it doesn't mean I need to slot out when she says she works 15 hours in the library, her 15 hours might be my three, or mm -hmm. my, her 15 yeah. might be my five or something. Yeah, never compare, because so I actually- don't know how they work. Not that I'm slow at learning, but when it comes to actually doing notes, someone will be like, why did that take you five hours? Because that's how long it took me to process. And not even process it, but it's just that, it just takes me different, I t things take me longer, my notes take me longer because I draw everything properly, I do this, that, that, and I want everything to look pretty because I know this is how I revise. Note taking is actually a form of revision for me, even though some people say it's inefficient because you're just copying down, but the act of copying down itself, I'm yeah, actually remembering. So that's just how I revise and everyone's just different. Her notes, if you see them, they're beautiful, different colours, she doesn't, I, use one blue pen oh my gosh, and no write the whole thing. Yeah, I write, does. sometimes the handwriting is beautiful, sometimes the handwriting is crap. <laughs> sometimes it's so ugly, <laughs> but me, it's just the writing down and then I'll look over it later and I'll highlight the bits that are important again. Mm -hmm. So th those two notes, they say the same thing. It took me half the time because I didn't do colors, I didn't do headings, I didn't do yeah. all of this. So, it's it's, how yeah, exactly. Work. It's not saying my notes is any better than hers. It's just like different people, different ways of revising. So but they, that's um, in first year, you're 
you, the subjects you chose, you're gonna learn stuff from that. So like we did maths. The whole of maths in first year was, most of it was maths you did in A-level. This year is not stuff you know. Yeah. You didn't know it, you never done known it. <laughs> so you best not, you have to learn it. Oh my God, so, that's so true. I can't even stress That's not even is. just math. Maths, you think I was universal. Let's get onto these specific oh, no, maths, stuff. Forget maths, it. it's so much harder this year than it was last year. Not even harder. Everything just feels so abstract. And math should never be abstract. There's too many letters involved, too many dashes, too many prosperity, too many sigma. Mm, we just need numerical values and we can just, we can pack, mm, let me know what's stress. And that's even maths. Maths you think is one unit. Yeah. Let's get onto civil engineering specific courses. Mm -hmm. You have never seen these things before. There's some equations, yeah, you learnt stress is, you did modulus, you did Young's modulus, you did all them, you've seen them before. Then I'll throw in yield stress and I'll throw in <laughs> one other thing you've never seen before and you're like, okay. Cool. And if you haven't learned how to learn, forget it. Yeah. Because you now have to learn how to learn to learn something you've never known before. That was a good way of putting that to be fair. Good Honestly, luck. listen to that. <laughs> That's another thing. Your friends are so important. If you have lazy, lazy friends mm. or friends that work in the type of way where they don't have to do things straight away and then they work loads later, that might not be comparable to you. So don't just don't be like, yeah, I don't, if they're not working, why, I don't need to work. Yeah, I agree. Next thing you know, they passed, sitting there <laughs> like Bob. <laughs> <laughs> no, I agree with that, friends. Another thing about friends, you always want friends in your calls, because this girl was going to take the approach of, I don't need to have friends in my calls. I'm telling you, get friends in your calls, get added to the stupid massive group chat, because when it comes to comparing notes, comparing answers, comparing this, they're just easy, it's accessible. Yeah. Listen, no one's writing an email to the lecturer that's only going to check his email once a week, okay? We need actual answers straight away. So getting friends in your calls, they don't have to be a best friend, you just really just need them to, need to know each other, and that's why it. Oh, blah, blah, blah. okay, last point of the thing. At the end of first year, do not overcommit yourself to everything. I was saying, yeah, I can do this, yeah, I can be in that committee, I can do that, yeah, no problem. Then I come to second year, I was like, oh, wait, not even second year, halfway through summer, I was like, you know, I actually can't do any of this. <laughs> and it's always deep when you can't, it makes you seem like an oral liable person when you have to cancel on commitment. Like, I was meant to be in a committee, and then I realized I can't be in this committee because I can't uphold the responsibilities that I should, so I had to drop out. And it just looks shit because, yeah, so just don't oversubscribe yourself. Second year is hard enough, so like do two sports max for second year. Actually, two is even two enough. Two is a lot. Two is a lot. <laughs> two is a lot. One actual main team sport and then one intramural with like friends and societies. But like honestly, don't oh, don't stretch yourself too thin because you do not want to cripple. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope our advices were like useful. Um, what are experts? If you want more. I'm supposed to be famous adjacent, so I don't mind. You'll be you seeing Chain Loads on YouTube channel. This will be a weekly series. So exactly. thank you for watching. Yeah. Thank you for watching. <laughs> I hope you subscribe and like the channel. Bye.